Hey guys, in this video, let's solve daily temperatures, lead code number 739. It's actually one of my favorite questions and one of the most eye-opening in terms of getting better at solving these problems. So we're given an array of integers temperatures and that represents the daily temperatures. And we need to return an array called answer such that answer at i is the number of days you have to wait after the ith day to get a warmer temperature. Sounds kind of painful in writing, but with an example, it's pretty easy. If there is no future day which this is possible keep the answer at i equals zero instead okay so the first example is really all you need here we have the temperatures 73 74 75 it goes lower to 71 69 72 76 73 so at this position here, it's implying that we have to wait one day until we get a warmer temperature. Well, that's true. At 73 here, we immediately at the next temperature, we get 74. And so we only had to wait one day. Same thing for this position. Well, the temperature is 74 here. The very next day, bum, 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 ba -dum, we get a temperature of 75. And so the second spot is also one. We only had to wait one day. However, in the third spot, it says we had to wait four days. So that's true. At 75, this was lower, this was lower, this was lower. But here, 76 is higher than 75. And so we had to wait four days for that position. And so for here, we had to wait two days. These, we had to wait one day. And at the very end here, at 76, there's actually nothing that's higher than that. So that stays at zero. Same thing with 73. The last value is always going to be zero because there's nothing in the future. So of course we can't have a warmer temperature. Okay, so that's really the only example that you need here is that one and let's get solving. Now the trick here is to use a stack and it makes a lot of sense once you see how it starts working. And this is gonna be specifically a monotonic stack and we'll see what that means. And that's why this is such a useful problem to solve is because a monotonic stack, which again, we'll say in a moment, comes up pretty commonly. Now we're going to use our stack in a second to build up this array, which I'm actually just going to initialize to a bunch of zeros. And it's useful to be zeros because as we saw as part of the problem, some of the values might actually be left at zero. Now we're gonna put these temperatures on the stack. So if we put 73 here, my stack's gonna build up this way. So that's the top of the stack is the right. So I'm gonna put 73 on the stack here because we're visiting this first pair. Now we go over here and visit this. Is it time to take this value off the stack okay if this stack temperature is lower than the current which i'll just call c well that means that we found a higher temperature than it and so if we have well that's actually true because this is 74 it's higher well we are ready to take this off and start to place in the value here but we don't know the index associated with that therefore we actually want when we put this stuff on the stack we want a tuple of the temperature and the index and that was an index of zero so we're saying we're ready to fill this position in here. What are we ready to fill it in with? Well, our current index is one. So our current index is one. Our old index is zero. So we know we're filling in this position, but we fill it in with our current index minus our old index, which equals one. Why are we doing that? Well, that's the distance between these two things in here. The distance between the two indices is actually the value we want to plug in because that's saying how many days it took to fill find that larger temperature. Okay, so we take that value off of the stack. I'm just going to erase all of this stuff as well. And we really just put this value back on the stack. Okay, so 74 and one, and we are ready to move on. So here we have 75 and two. Is it ready to take this thing off the stack? Well, yes it is because we found 75 and that is a warmer temperature than 74. So we do the same thing here. We have the index of one. That means we're going to insert into this position. We take our current index, which is two. We take our old index from the stack, which is one. We get the value of one. So we're saying in this position right here, this is the one we want to change. We want to plug in this value here. That's the number of days it took to find a warmer temperature. So we plug it in there. Again, we'll take this off the stack. I'm just going to erase all of the stuff and I will put this back on the stack here. So we have the temperature of 75 and the index of two. We move on. And so is it time to take this off the stack? Well, no, it's not because our current temperature is 71. That's not warmer than 75. 
So it's not ready. We haven't found a spot for this yet. We're trying to fill in the index of two, but we haven't found a temperature that's warmer than it yet. So what do we do? Will we actually build up our stack? Our current temperature is 71 and our current index is three. So we're putting that on the top of the stack. It's building up over here and notice that it is what we call monotonic, okay? It is a monotonic stack, meaning that it's going to go in one direction here of the values. This temperature is larger than this one. And if we get a smaller temperature, which we actually will immediately, we have 69 and four. Well, it's still not time to take this off the stack. And therefore there's no way it's time to take this off the stack because this value is gonna be smaller than this one. We have a current temperature of 69. So we're gonna take our current temperature, which is 69. We are going to put our index, which is four, and our stack is still building up here. Now it is at this point where we say, okay, we found a larger temperature than this one. We found a temperature of 72. So it is time to take this one off. Well, we found a solution for the index of four. So we're going to insert into this position and we put in the difference of the indices. Our current index is five. We take away our old index, which is four, and that equals one. So in here, we place in the value of one. That makes sense because at this spot, it only took one day to get a warmer temperature. So we're ready to pop this off the stack. That means we found something larger than the smallest. If we found something larger than the smallest, well, since it's organized here from large to small, it could actually be the case that our value is larger than this one. And that is the case here because 72, it is bigger than 71. So we also take this one off the stack. We are applying to the index of three. So we're actually going to insert into this position. And what do we want to do? Our current index is five. Our old index is the three. The value we'll place in is two. So we are going to place in a two here. Okay, so we'll take that off the stack. We are again with this temperature of 72. It could technically still be bigger than this value. It's actually smaller than this one here. We still haven't found something that's bigger than 75. And therefore we put this on the stack like we always do. We get our temperature, which is 72. We get our index, which is five. Now we are ready to move on yet again. Okay, so we get our current temperature, which is 76. And it turns out, as we can see, that's bigger than all of this stuff. So I'm gonna do it a little bit faster here since we're getting used to it. We have an index of five that is going to plug in this position. Our current index is six minus five. And so we plug in a value of one. So in the index of five, we are going to plug in the value of one. We take that off the stack and we have this value as well. This value did find a warmer temperature. So we finally found a match for index two. So what is the difference? Well, we take the current index six minus two, which is equal to four. So in the index two position, we plug in the value of four. Again, that makes sense here. 75 did not find it, did not find it, did not find it, did find it. And so it took four days here. And so that's why we plug that in. We take that off the stack. And then here our stack is empty. There's no more popping off that we could do. So we just place our current on the stack, which is going to be the temperature of 76 and the index of six. We move this thing over. We can see that 73 is not a larger temperature than 76. So we just put this on the stack. We have 73 with the index of seven. We are actually at the end of the array at this point, and we don't really have to do anything because we already initialized them at zero. This is actually correct for these values because we never found a value that was larger here. And when that's the case, the problem said to leave them at zero. So even though this stuff's on the stack, we really just can leave it there because there's nothing left to do. We can actually just return our answer and this is the correct one if you were to check the example. Okay, let's write our code. And I really enjoy writing this code. I think it's really fun. So n is equal to the length of the temperatures. Let's just do that. And by the way, I'm actually just going to set temps equal to temperatures, just because writing that out every time is a little annoying. So we'll get n is the length of the temps. And we're going to set up our answer. So this is gonna be our return answer. And we'll initialize it to n many zeros for now. And we'll get our stack, which is going to be just an empty array for now.
Now we'll use enumerate. So we'll go through for I and T in enumerate the temperatures. If you haven't seen enumerate before, it just gets this value is the index and this value is the value, which is gonna be a temperature. And then the really fun part of this is we're saying, hey, while we both have a stack, as in our stack's not empty, and the stack at negative one, so that's how we get the top of the stack. So while the top of the stack's first value, which is the temperature, because we're gonna be storing tuples of the temperature is the zero and the index is the one. So while the top of the stack's temperature is less than T, what does that mean? Well, this is where we keep popping stuff off the stack. While the top of the stack has a temperature that is smaller than the current temperature, it means we need to start popping. So we'll pop off and we can do get the stack temperature and the stack I is equal to stack.pop. That basically just says pop off the tuple and immediately plug in the temperature that was there and the index that was there. And we want to set answer at the stack index. Okay, so we know that whatever index you had on the stack there, that's the position you're ready to set. And what do we want to set it to? Well, we said it's the current index, which is I, take away the old index, which is the stack I. That's the rest of our while loop. And then at the end here, we no matter what, we just want to stack.append the tuple of the current temperature and the current index. We always want to put that on whether we did any popping or not. And then here, we're actually done. We simply just need to return the answer. The code is super duper clean. And here, let's talk about time and space complexity, which we actually didn't discuss there. So the time complexity of this, well, what are we doing? Well, we're just looping through the temperatures. So if we say that N, well, we've literally said that N is the length of the temperatures. So it's going to be at least in O of N. Now we have this extra while loop, which might make you think the complexity is more complicated, but it's really not because we're running this while we have a stack and some certain condition. That doesn't really matter. But every time this runs, we are popping something off the stack. So every single time this runs, we're taking something off. Well, how many things did we put on? Well, we put on n things. So if we put on n things and we take off at most n things, well, really, we're just saying that as we run through this n loop, we are doing an extra n things here. Our while loop, it doesn't matter when or which iteration of this it runs, at some point, it's gonna take off the n things that we put on it. So that's really just an O of n plus n, and that doesn't do anything, it's still O of n. And the only questionable parts are pop and append, except for a dynamic array. This is on average constant time. This is also on average constant time. So actually all of this stuff here, this is still just an O of N solution. And the space complexity here, this is actually also going to be big O of N because we're just putting all this stuff on the stack. Technically you could just keep decreasing temperatures here. So you'd put everything on the stack. So that's gonna be O of N as well. One of my favorite problems. I hope that this was interesting to you. Drop a like if it was and have a great day guys. Bye-bye.